Hey, what's going on? This is my D Team. You welcome back to Five Fantasy One Dawn of Souls my Balance Soul Ninja. This is part ten. Uh, this is gonna be the final part, unfortunately. Um, because I mean, I did this part. Um, and then uh, the problem was um, um, it the MGBA uh, ac actually crashed on me. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, reset and. Just um, load up the game, and what we're going to do is we're going to hmm, wonder what happened there. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to mass moon. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I lost some uh, time with uh. Going through that bonus dungeon, I died to Rubicante once, and then I and then I actually beat him the second time. I beat the uh, both those uh, bosses on floor five of the Hellfire Chasm. So unfortunately, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just you know go take on Chaos, and that's going to be it. So what I'm going to do is right here, and I'm going to actually save here. And I'm not going to speed it up. I'm going to give this a. Uh, not, I'm going to do this not fast forwarded. Make this a good. Um, it's good of a uh, final video for this series as I can, you know? Well, no, not these uh, random encounters anyway. Santa Plus is. Yeah, every four points of stamina is plus one to your um, armor. Go get away from these guys because they're dangerous. Those spells. If you strike, get out there. Um, those death knights can uh, wreck you if you're not careful. They have the uh, destroy spell. So you gotta definitely take them out as quick as possible. Nine hits is pretty good. That guy out of the way. We go ahead and get Fear Gout. So those ghosts are deadly. Egg zone, that's more suck of the kills. Maybe if it hits me, yeah. Okay, go ahead and destroy that guy. Otherwise, he would have uh, definitely caused some issues. Okay, there we go. So go ahead and I'm going to use Pyrga. Well then of course I go use no plus should just use Thunder Gun. Whatever. It didn't even kill them in one shot, any of them. They must got a huge amount of HP up in, in this uh Dawn of Souls in the uh mod balance. Uh oh. I was playing with fire for certain. Yeah, 43 stamina. Yeah, none of our stamina will get 96 defense. So make sure to keep an eye on that. So yeah, we're going to get a lich as fast as we can. Just use the uh, donor staff. 
kind of well, it doesn't do enough damage, so might as well just go on attack. I thought it was going to be enough to take enough their health down to attack each one with melee and take them down, save two turns, but no, that was not the case. Fire would have definitely taken these guys on one shot, but like if we use Fira, yeah, we would have uh, done that, but whatever. I think that's non-elemental, so we can definitely, maybe earth elemental, so we can definitely be killed a mode by uh, these guys. 43 stamina, so we're still, um, still need one more to show that that does go up. But I think if, if you all know the mechanics of this, and you know, um, if you know the uh, everything about this mod and uh, it, um, how it works, then you know how, how it works, so... Uh, 43 stamina, 95 defense, 43, 95, 44 stamina, 96 defense. See? There we go. Okay, so we use a potion, and we are going to step right here, and we are going to take on the lich. Actually, I did say I was going to show something off, weren't I? I know destroy is coming, and after that, I think it's comet. So, um, yeah, be careful. I'm just going to speed it up. This is taking too long. So I'm gonna try and get a uh, cartridge clogo. We have a lot of uh, intelligence. This can it will let eventually if you keep going. But, um, so yeah, I just go ahead and attack. I mean, eventually, I think that egg zone will land, so I gotta be careful. So, yeah, it would have just been better to do that, but like, so we have a we oh, 60 times. We didn't, I thought we had like 80s. I, I, yeah, it was, it was, uh, the joy that uh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. Let's go ahead and these guys down. See if we get our red cap for the uh, hell of it. I don't think they, they might not even. I think they there was a no like a brownish type worm before. Oh well. I'm just gonna play it safe and carry it. I forgot to save it, but whatever. Four damage. It's not doing a lot. That's dangerous. Actually, I could use a uh, Cocky's Claw here. I only have 60 intelligence, so it may or may not work, you know. I give it like three tries. I'll get five per boss, you know. Four.
Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and haste up and see how much damage does, weapon hurt damage. Does like triple on average. There we go. Mursame. Okay, so go ahead and take these guys down. I wish there was a better way, but not well. Fast we can go, you know. Our apples are nice. Uh, I probably wanna, yeah, you probably wanna like um, grind on those, uh, grind for the uh, silver gold apples and such. That way you can, uh, luck plus is nice too. And that way you'll be okay. On health and such, so if that doesn't work, oh, these guys. Here we go. No, I killed one. Dang, holy cruddy. Okay, so we're gonna Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grind a little bit on this uh floor to so hopefully make it easier. Except if these guys can really wreck your day. So go ahead and go back and forth. These guys again. Yeah, you want them to use the the elemental spells. Tile wave really hurts if you're uh, unlucky there. If I'd get some some more silver ap apples and uh, get my health over a thousand, that'd be nice. Start with a thousand, because the bottom boss can definitely wreck you if you're unlucky. You know, and getting the enemy strikes first here sucks. It doesn't suck, I mean, shouldn't be, uh, they shouldn't have a good chance at hitting us with, like, status effects, but, yeah. That sucks. I right, haste back up. Definitely your spirit go when there's six of those ghosts. They have a chance to drop ribbons, but uh, yeah, you wanna just get rid of these enemies. As, yeah, at least it goes as soon as possible. But uh, yeah, eight of these war elementals. We only got two down, so that's a bit unlucky. If we had the ice three, would have been a lot better. Cause that could really wreck us, you know. Tower wave. Got some useless crystal mail. go yeah nine hits it'd be nice to get 10 hits that and then we could uh multiply that to 20 that'd be sweet I want to get those snakes out here that we can uh Get some more of those. Uh, oh man, not these guys again. Come on now. That's really unlucky that only three of them died. Instead of six. There we go. That's okay. We get to level A, and that's gonna be it. Oh yeah, and the site of the last floor, uh, the floor before uh, Chaos, they can buy a uh, war machine, so you really have to be careful. When I get to like a thousand HP, I'm gonna call it good.
Here we go. So I got one of the scorpions, so I think the, uh, I don't know what the scorpion. Uh, they had scorpions that they dropped the silver apples and yeah. I don't know what the snakes dropped, but yeah. Go one, two, and three. Nice. Oh, it's, we got almost two million experience. That's that's insane. It's crazy, in a good way. Now that's awesome. Okay, one more level. I would love to get to crack a thousand health, you know, that'd be nice. Oh, man, that's unlucky. Uh, and I don't, I, I forgot to save, so I'm hoping I'm not going to get punished for it. Okay, so we should be okay. We got this. That's not nice. So we'll go ahead and... Oh, that worked. You guys save it. But it's like, if you had, like, the rune staff, and you also had the, um, items that you needed to, to cast spells, you know, you, you don't even have to, like, you know, go back and heal or save, you know? you can just, like, manually save, and just infinitely, you know, grind, you know, technically, you know, not, like, you know, forever, like, literally, you know, we all die eventually, but, like, that'd be pretty cool to, like, you know, be able to just grind seemingly indefinitely without having to worry about it. Saving it. Okay, so we got level 80. Exactly 1,000 HP. That's pretty good. Ethers. About 80. Alright, Kraken. Just duke it out. You deal damage, I deal damage. He normally he's going to do a lot more damage than that if you're um if you don't have all his armor and such, but he ain't too bad now. There you go. We're on a final floor. All right, here we go, Tiamat. All right, so we're going to use haste, and we're going to temper up. Here we go. 1800 damage. 3700. 54. Ooh, I'm gonna heal up. Oh, really? I healed for 7 damage? Come on now. It's okay. Assassin's Zager, which is pretty cool. Rogue Ninja. But this. I mean, it would have been nice before, but eh, it doesn't work this time now. We. I remember side would have been nice if we didn't have mass moon, but now nah, well. Now nah, well. So we're gonna go ahead and use Thundaga. So what we're going to do is we're going to heal and some ethers. We're on a final floor. Be careful on this floor. Uh, it will most likely cause you to reset. But we got here no problem. But if you don't believe me, yeah, these guys can definitely wreck you. So, time to go. 
these guys hit hard. Like, surprisingly hard. Some of these enemies, anyway. Like, Rock Gargoyles, two are damage. Yeah, it's bad. Like, not even three... Three are da damage. There you go. So, level 81. Uh, I'm going to use... Not that. I was going to go ahead and move things around. Dragon Snow X Potion. Um, we got... The best weapon. Our stats are pretty decent. Um, let's see here. Uh, I didn't bring uh, the. Okay, I got the dry ether. Yeah. Hold on me, uh, get giant Sonic, X Potion. Uh, move over the. Um, I have jokes. I have a jolt on it. So, that over here. Uh, I got the ethers. Well, I don't need it. Ethers like that. Um, move over to the right. No. Nope. Put it there. And the, uh, dry to there. Okay. So, here's the final boss. And it's chaos. So, yeah. So, the first thing's first... Get the giant stone I got. Expotion. Just be safe. Uh, if he gets an attack off, that can suck. Um, I'm gonna try play it risky. We have decent armor, but if he uh gets a lot of uh, high damage on us, we're screwed. We have to hope we don't take too much damage, you know? So, for this fight, yeah, I'm gonna hope, hope that he doesn't do too much damage, like that. Kirita is about as good as it's gonna get. And Temper is bad, because now I can do a bunch of damage if he goes first. Yeah. That does a lot of damage, and if he goes first, that would be bad. Flower does a lot of damage too, so it's gotta heal up again. 11 hard damage. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Ooh, if he goes first, that, that would suck. He's got haste. I think he already hasted before he tempered, so. Yeah. Yeah. I've gotten close to 2000 damage before at a low level. Try set up, and it was definitely not good. I mean, I still got wiped out, so... Yeah, you wanna... Yeah, I'm gonna... Like, every time he hits, I'm just gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna X Potion up. That way, I don't, you know... Get unlucky with him doing damage like that. Yeah, because now he can do more damage. Now his spells should be able to roll high like that, you know? Okay, heal up again. He should be able to crit me for like 2,000 damage. His damage is not that high. Doesn't seem like it, but I'm gonna be sure when I get around 2,500 to heal up because I don't want to die after setting up. We got this on our first try though. No, if you came here at low levels, though, without you know, especially trying to do this lowest level possible, you would definitely be. Um, in some trouble. This chaos does a lot of damage if he gets lucky. He has high intelligence and such, it sucks, you know? It's not nice. 
700 damage, yeah. Imagine if you could keep if you keep passing yourself and then tempering so much oh man. It'd be uh be tr trouble, you know. But yeah, the more these uh giant stokes you use, I mean the Yeah. 14 yard damage, oh my god. And he tempered again. These types are up to like five, so it should be alright. We're gonna get uh the AR damage. By this point it's not too bad, you know. Five or damage, it's not bad. So we're gonna keep on uh raising our um HP till it hits the maximum cap. I'm gonna heal up just to be safe. In case he like attacks, you know, physically and gets tons of crits in a row. There's nothing I can do about that, you know. And one more. So now max at 999. So now even if he hits, he's not going to be taking us down one shot. There's no way. So if raise maximum MP. We don't need to do that, but we'll do what we'll do it anyway. Like it's too bad to show you know like small numbers. You know how high our MP is. You know. We're not going to use that much MP anyway, so... So let's go ahead and use... Their cur curtain... And also... The Mega Elixir... Oh man, I was 2,000. I didn't think I raised that much, but that's cool. How does slow work on chaos? Does it work? Nah. Probably wouldn't. I'm not worried about his physical anyway. That's why I see it if it would work. But anyway, it's going to haste up. Yeah, you got a big hit there, but we're gonna temper up five times. Yeah, now he's just doing physical. That's okay. I think it stacks at five. Now we're we're both like max tempered. I'm just playing this slow game with him. I can X potion, you know, no problem. Chaos, man, you had chances to really um, wreck me and you yeah, didn't, you didn't, you yeah, gave me opportunities to rope blow on your damage and your attacks didn't take me down, so and I was too late for you, now I'm trying to put you to sleep, I'm trying to slow you, so I do everything I can to make you look like a fool, and you're hitting me for not much damage, confused. And I tried to kill you instantly, but that's alright. Heal up. Alright, Chaos, that was fun. It was nice knowing you, but you're going down. Send him to the moon. Thousand. That's going to take a little bit to kill him, but it's okay. 43. 6600. 99, I mean 9100. Like, if you're wondering... Did it again. Well, I think it it probably uh, keeps going for a little bit. Probably not too much further though.
Yeah, probably already hit the maximum, but basically, yeah, that's a lot. But four, it's not bad. But Comet, on him, Saturday damage, not bad. And there you go. Probably like 25,000 HP in this game. But yeah, Chaos, calm down, no problem, first try. But yeah, um, I'm gonna let you read the story while I, uh, give my review for the Soul Ninja Challenge. Um, I wonder if I actually called it Soul Thief in this run at all. Um, but, um, yeah, this game, um, um, yeah, uh, Mod Balance is really nice. Uh, I enjoyed, uh, uh, playing through it as a Soul Ninja. It started off slow at first, uh, you had to get your, um, you didn't really get many uh, weapon upgrades as ninjas shockingly couldn't use the flame, ice shields, or, or swords. Uh, but you definitely got some spells like haste and temper to make up for that. And you definitely got some good, you got the Genji gear near the end of the game, you know, to take you from a glass can to a very fast, um, tough, um, all around individual, you know. Yeah, very deadly ninja at the very end. So, yeah, um, definitely get the mass mune. Um, and it's very nice to have that. I'll try to make the bonus dungeons as easy as possible. But yeah, there you go. Um, so yeah. Um, basically, um, it starts off hard, and then uh, but then um, uh, once you get fast and temper, and uh, you get these uh, other items to help you in battle, it's pretty much over. You know, you don't have to like grind too much. Although you saw, like, you know, I grinded into the 80s for uh, the ninja. You know, I got to level 81 to showing off one of the fights on the final floor with Chaos. Um, but that wasn't a hard fight, you know. And Chaos, if you um, get set up, it's not hard. He's not hard at all. You just gotta make sure to get set up uh, and definitely save next to him. Otherwise, you're gonna be in for a bad time. And yeah, I tried instantly killing the, uh, some of the bosses with Cockatrice Claw, stoned them, uh, I already got that on, uh, Tiamat, on first go, um, it's definitely possible with, if you have your, um, like, intelligence all the way up, um, but, um, to like, uh, about the 80s at least, um, but, uh, you definitely don't want to rely on that, um, and a low level challenge, uh, if you get very lucky with the Cockatrice Claw, killing like the bosses and chaos, you won't have too much of a tough time, you know, if you get lucky. Though it can take an off long time, but all in all, Ninja Challenge, I definitely recommend it if you want uh, something fun. Uh, so yeah, um. Uh oh. Is that? There you go. Um. So the challenge complete. Uh, this concludes part 10 and the final part of Final Fantasy 1 Donald Souls Mod Balance Solo Ninja. I hope you all enjoy this. Uh, next we'll be doing Pokemon Ruby. Um, hopefully uh, MGBA doesn't uh, mess up on me too badly. Um, doesn't crash again. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy this. Tell us, uh, please like, uh, subscribe. Tell us Mrs. Mountain D team. Peace out. Be safe. Have a rest of the night. Nice to see you. Never take my life for credit and make the most of every single day.